first chord was an A flat major seven. I have A flat in the bass, okay? I'm actually gonna add a 13, which is the F, G, B flat, C, E flat, G, C. Again, that's A flat in the bass. I'm gonna have F, G, B flat, C, E flat, G, C, okay? It's the first chord. The next chord is, I'm gonna call it an E flat two over G. And the chords are G, E flat, F, B flat, E flat, F, B flat. Again, that's G, E flat, F, B flat, E flat, F, B flat. And the next I'm gonna go to a F chord, but it's like an open voicing F. The, the bass is A, and the chord is just an F triad. I just removed the C and played it down here. So I'm doing C, A, F, with A in the bass. C, F, A. Now I'm doing the same thing with a B flat chord. B flat's in the bass, and I have D, B flat, F. D, B flat, F, and I'm pushing on that, okay? I'm just going to a uh, C minor chord. I think I voiced it. I'll show you a couple of voicings I think I did. I th this one is C, E flat, G, C, E flat. C, E flat, G, C, E flat. Or you can play an inversion of it, and that inversion would be E flat, F, G, B flat, C with your left hand, and G, C, E flat with your right hand. So again, it would be E flat, F, G, B flat, C, G, C, E flat. Okay, and then you do a, um, whoops, sorry. I think that's a uh, five, one, four turnaround. So that all, all you play over that five is in uh, B flat minor seven, and I'm playing it uh, a flat, B flat, C, D flat, E flat, F, A flat, C. I'll try it again. It's B flat in the bass, A flat, B flat, C, D flat, E flat, F, A flat, C. And you resolve it to an E flat chord. So in that uh, E flat in the bass, you have G, B flat, E flat, F, B flat. Again, E flat in the bass, G, B flat, E flat, F, B flat, okay? Then you go back to the A flat major seven chord, back to the uh, E flat two over G, this time you're gonna do a seven, three, six progression in the key of E flat. But how I'm gonna play it, I'm gonna go uh, D minor seven, flat five. And the chord is D in the bass, it's D, A flat, C, F, A flat, C. Okay, it's D in the bass is D, A flat, C, F, A flat, C. And this is some kind of G altered chord. I believe it's a, a G7 with a sharp five and a sharp nine. Yes! <laughs> so it's G in the bass, and then you have F, A flat, B, E flat, which is sharp five, G, B flat, which is sharp nine. Okay, so to a C minor.
The way I'm playing it is C in the bass, and uh, the chord is E flat, F, G, B flat. In your left hand, D, F, B flat, D. So it's E flat, F, G, B flat, D, F, B flat, D. Okay, and now I'll show it to you uh, again. I'll show it to you just the way I played it. So here we go. Okay, now this time we're gonna do it. I'm gonna do a little thing different. When I get to um, Normally when I would play the A flat major seven, I'm going to play, I'm going to play a different kind of chord over the G. I don't know what it is, but we'll figure it out together. It's going to, I'm going to go instead of A flat G, I'm going to go G A flat. And I'll show you what I'm doing. The first time I did, um, this time I'm going to go, okay, and all that is is a, uh, um, I believe it's a G minor 13 or 6. I'm going to call it a G minor 13. That's what I'm going to call it. I don't know if it's right or not, <laughs> but I'm going to call, call it that. And then I'm going to resolve it to the A flat major 7. So that chord is G in the bass, and the chord is E, G, B flat. E, A, C. Again, it's G in the bass, and you have E, G, B flat, E, A, C. And you just resolve it to the A flat. And I kept everything else the same up to that point. Okay, so I went. Okay. Keep everything else the same. Okay, now the next time, the third time I did it, I did what's called a pedal point over B flat. And all that is, is you hold one note and then you change your chords. So, and you can do that almost anywhere, but I'll show you how it works over B flat.